Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zipporah the Lux Angel and today I am back with another pick a card reading featuring the handbags from my personal luxury collection. Scorpio, please remember that these readings are timeless, general, and for entertainment purposes only. That means please only listen to what directly applies to your personal situation, leave the rest for someone else, and by all means, please contact licensed professionals and or the proper authorities regarding any medical, mental, or financial emergencies and or crises. That being said, Scorpio, let us get started with your pick a card reading. We have two handbags for you to choose from today. Allow me to adjust the camera upward. Okay, so this is the outfit of the day. Very simple. Uh, you have probably seen this combination or some variation of it previously if you are one of the OGs. But you can find out more about my capsule wardrobe in my shorts reel. But this is a simple black wrap top from Amazon. Also, this um, plaid print tennis skirt is also from Amazon. And uh, today, because fall is in effect, I am wearing it with some knee-high leggings. So option number one for your pick-a-card reading, Scorpio, is the classic, the lovely Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the gorgeous Empreinte leather. And there are so many Neverfulls out right now because Louis just launched a whole a bunch of new ones. But this is my baby. Okay, an emprunt leather. Absolutely adore it. This gives me like real legal vibes. Like if I was a paralegal or something like that, like this is what I would be, you know, wanting to rock, you know. And a paralegal in real life would be like, girl, bye. We're not wearing no Amazon clothes. But, you know, I'm just a stay-at-home mom. So these are pipe dreams, you know. <laughs> For now, we're just going to say <clears throat> option number one. For your pick a card reading okay yes yeah, so beautiful all right let us move on to option number two actually let's move this out the way <sighs> the other classic the lovely gucci marmont small shoulder bag let us just put her on the shoulder and just beautiful absolutely lovely so this is option number two when you want a little more golden bling razzle dazzle because you see the other bag has no hardware or minimal hardware there are a couple of d-rings on the sides where you adjust the straps but this marmont mm, cannot go wrong and let us show her on the long shoulder carry absolutely adore her on the long shoulder carry Short shoulder or long shoulders, absolutely gorgeous. But you know, long shoulder is my early 90s Karl Lagerfeld Chanelian vibes that I love and adore so much. So yes, this is option number two, the classic to Gucci, the Marmont. Now let us do a side by side. Okay, Scorpio, so what are we doing? Option number one. The Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Or option number two, the lovely Gucci Marmont small shoulder bag. Okay. We won't be too long winded. Let us get started. Why are we speaking like this? You guys going to the opera or something? You going to see a show? I was just talking to my girls about rent because I was fortunate enough. I think it was the 20th anniversary, either 20th or the 30th, whichever one was like sometime in this early 20 somethings. <laughs> anyway, but I went to see rent and I was talking to my girls about it because it's like, you know, people talking about the cost of living and rent and we're talking about rent and I'm like, there's actually a song called, you know, we're not going to pay this rent. So what are you guys getting fed up? Sorry, I don't know. I don't have to be like so particular about this camera. Well, maybe you are being fed up because y'all are particular or something and something is not like rising to the occasion for you. So let's figure out. Hopefully it's not your living situation. 
All right, so Scorpios choosing the lovely Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. We are going to start with Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck by one Matt Hughes. Let us see what is going on for these lovely Scorpios. All right, Archangel Michael, please protect us as we read. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Archangel Haniel, help us to understand our benevolent spirit guides. Thank you, Archangel Haniel. Thank you, benevolent spirit guides. Archangel Raphael, may we be healed. Thank you, Archangel Raphael. All right, spirit messages for Scorpio luxury lovers choosing the never full from Louis Vuitton. Messages for Scorpio luxury lovers choosing the Louis Vuitton never full. Messages for Scorpio luxury lovers choosing the Louis Vuitton never full. Scorpio, Scorpio energy. I know the energies for Scorpios are about to shift for all the fixed signs for everybody, for everybody in the collective. The fixed signs will probably very much feel it. With Pluto going into the fixed sign of Aquarius. And Scorpios being co-ruled by Pluto. Definitely going to be feeling the shifts. Hopefully in very positive ways for you, okay? All right, let us do this. Okay, messages for Scorpio luxury lovers. Choosing this never full. Well, we have a queen of swords. I'm happy to see this in the first position. We are being discerning. We are being clever. We are being wise. Hopefully. Ooh, with an ace of swords. We are speaking up. We are speaking our truth. We are letting it be known. Ooh, or this is what you're wanting. Hmm, we have a four of cups. Remember, I was like, is somebody fed up? Is somebody fed up? Hmm, are you letting it be known? Hmm, with the moon. Maybe you're not letting it be known. What I'm getting here is somebody could be very distant from you. It could be a child of yours. Take it where it resonates. But someone could be very distant from you emotionally and you're like, what's up? You're thinking about like, either you are thinking about it or you have gone ahead and it's like, I need to know where your head's at. You got your head in the clouds. You seem disassociated. Where are you? What is going on? Ooh, with the king of swords. Okay. Well, I'm actually happy that they are in alignment or falling in this same column. Let us continue. For those of you who do not know, I do a 12 card spread representing the 12 houses of the astrological chart. We have a seven of cups. Let me demystify you, said this queen of swords. Let me illuminate you to what's happening. Five of cups. So I'm getting the queen of swords is letting the king of swords know that someone is not doing too well. You all could be parents and you're letting your partner know, hey, I don't think, you know, our child is doing so well. They just had that breakup. They can't find a job. They're lost right now. Uh, something's up. That's kind of the, inf the, the energy that I'm getting here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of you may be very worried about someone that you care about. Definitely could be a child who you think is depressed. Just going through it, but not really trying to show you. This could be an adult male child and they're like trying to be tough. Like, no, mom, I got it. I'm good. But you're like, no, y'all just went through some type of heartache and y'all are not good at all. This could be your own partner. You know, take it where it resonates, where they're not telling you what's going on, but you can tell something has them incredibly worried. But either way, I see you, Scorpio, being the person bringing, or take it where it resonates, whomever. Somebody is bringing it to awareness, like, I noticed this. 
Reminds me of that Amada La Negra song, Insecure. At night when you're falling asleep, hold your cell phone tighter than me. You think that I can't see what's happening. So she was letting it be known. Like, look, I can tell something ain't right. And that's what I'm getting here, Scorpios. Page of Cups. Mm. What is happening? Okay. And that song. Look, let me get all these cards out first. Ten of Cups. I hope this is good. I hope. Let me look. Let me see. Let me just get the truth out. I have gotten this a couple of times, Scorpio. Why this is coming up in your reading. Take it where it resonates. But I am getting children fathered outside of a union. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> I hope I was try I'm trying not to get it, but this is what is here. And this is like, these are my confessions. Like in that song, like I said, Insecure by Amada La Negra. She said, you think that I can see, you know. Do you say I'm loca, crazy? Said I've been tripping lately. I want to know, baby. And Scorpios, if you've been digging, you're going to find the information that you need. Somebody knows something. <laughs> Look, Scorpio, you could know that a significant other has another and started a whole other family somewhere else. Scorpio, you could be the person starting a whole other family somewhere else. Scorpio, you could be pregnant with somebody else's baby. <laughs> I'm just seeing where there is disunion in a union and there's family being created out of it, okay? There's a child involved some way, whether this is your child that you're worried about because they've been broken up and blah, 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 or this is children that are being worried about because your partner, take it as it resonates. But somebody is like, uh, we need to talk about this, lay it all in the open. I mean, this could even be where your children recognize that you and your partner aren't doing so well and your children recognize that you all are splitting up. You think that your children can't see, but they can see. Eight of Cups. And self-soothing. Like they're not trying to whomever. If this is your adult child who's going through it, they're trying to give you the brave face and give you the family, you know, love and family and we're good and blah. But behind the scenes, they're struggling and you know that. But there's also a message from spirit that they're going to get through it. This is just a normal stage of life that people go through, loving and losing and having to self-soothe through it. Um, other situations, child, let's see. <laughs> Let us see. What in the ivity if if ifs? Wheel of Fortune. Scorpio. <laughs> Somebody is leaving on a midnight train to Georgia. So they going back to find a simpler place and time. Oh my gosh. I don't know who you are in this situation, Scorpio. Scorpio, I'm seeing in this situation, y'all are leaving somebody and y'all might be pregnant or getting pregnant. Like, I am seeing that. I mean, you could have an older child who is upset that you're leaving their their father or their stepfather, whomever you're with now. And that you're like, I gotta do it. And you're starting a family with somebody else. This is what I'm seeing in these cards, yo. Six of Cups. Okay, deep connections. Let's see here. Oof. Yes, yes, yes. This is tough right here because this is like a situation where there's... 
Scorpio, woo, 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 but you don't need the woo, woo, woo. Because from what I'm seeing, like, look at the... <laughs> Scorpio's not the one who needs the woo, woo, woo. Everybody else needs the woo, woo, woo. Like, she's satisfied. She's like, yep, did it, and press the button. Mm-hmm. The Death Star was released. It was. <laughs> and that's up above the King of Swords with the Page of Cups. Like, you're finding your match. And you're like, I don't care because this is true love, like, that I'm starting out with. That other thing was confusion. So some of y'all, this is, these are your confessions. Scorpio's y'all's making confessions. Somebody's making confessions up in this bitch. They ain't making confessions. They're like, I found a deep connection that I want to begin something new with. Okay, a practical new beginning in the physical. And in order to do that, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like, yes, y'all are having confessions. That's what I'm saying. Let me get, hmm. um, <laughs> there's nothing, look, Scorpio, there's nothing to be wrong about. If y'all know that y'all are following y'all North Star, y'all are, if y'all know, y'all know, this is what is meant to be. It's a reflection and, you know, sometimes things do not work out. Some things, what is this? Um, some mistakes get made. That's all right. That's okay. Um, but I'm saying that your kids will be okay. For what I'm seeing that they're older kids, but even if they're not older kids, they're coping. They're coping well. It, even if there's really, really sadness with this four of cups that is also the highest vibration is a meditation a met self-reflective card and with the eight of cups as well i'm seeing that even though they're going through the five of cups it's surrounded with the four and the eight meaning they're reflecting and even with the moon and then we have jupiter which is a teacher so i'm seeing whatever you're worried about or, or you know whoever whoever you're worried about taking this hard this will be a learning experience for for them and it will change their emotional world, but that is a normal process of life, which is why we have the death card, you know, after this. <laughs> Ten of swords, child. <laughs> um, I, I feel like I want to get, let me get, look, this is when you need to get the fearless oracle because, you know, the divine about to speak through this. Shout out to Rachel Photon, uh, you know, cause we want the highest, of you know wisdom coming through this what I'm seeing when these confessions get made and it's gonna start to you got one on the way Scorpio you got one on the way somebody got one on the way but either way it it, 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 it doesn't both have both of all of these stories don't have to be you know converging take it where it resonates you could just have an adult child who's upset that you're doing something you could just have you and your partner aren't meshing and found something else that's a reflection. But mm, for lots of you, there's children popping off. You may have to break up with a partner because they had a child and your little one is taking it hard. You know. But either way, there's going to be very difficult emotions ahead to deal with. So, you know, if you need to... Contact your counselors, you know, to help everyone cope. Before I'm seeing that the spirit is encouraging you to be honest or you're already being honest, you just, you, I'm seeing that you guys kind of want to not, um, you guys want to consider other people's feelings in this, not the ex or whoever you might be leaving, <laughs> not theirs, more so the children's or, you know, but it's like they're going to be fine. They're going to emotionally regulate. And at the end of the day, you also have to make sure you're properly emotionally regulated because the confessions happen because you weren't looking for a match. But take it where it resonates. Let us get just a few on the top of this one. Change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Evolution. Becoming different. Restructuring. Yes. Ooh, but just the way y'all ain't not caring. <laughs> it's like you're like woo 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 for this child, but I got to do what I got to do, though. Hey, look. 
We've got ritual and powerful. Hmm. With this moon wheel of fortune, some of y'all definitely manifested this and planned it out. So go from the page and then to the 10 and the 8. Ooh, y'all manifested an escape route for some of y'all. Some of y'all, y'all really wanted to get out of this, this relationship. And y'all manifested the new one to come on in. Ooh. Ooh, through powerful ceremonial magic out this witch. So you were praying, doing your affirmations, whatever you were doing. It was definitely working. Very powerfully. So you can rest assured that this is what you were asking for, if some of you are wondering. Maybe because of all the turmoil, turmoil that might ensue from other people's feelings for what you need to be doing. That might have you second guessing, but this is what you manifested. So if you don't manifest it, you're going to have to accept that. Just saying. You don't got to do nothing. I'm just saying. <laughs> Patience. Yes. And this is falling right under all this energy that it feels like of a child who might be sad about it. Patience. Like, they'll get through it. There's a guardian angel. They're going to learn how to, you know, be calm. So remaining calm, tolerant, being able to withstand yeah and um also with discipline and self-control so some of this is going to teach the child the older child boundaries of like you can't control my love life i'm so sorry um and then uh but also if you are going through a situation where you have to break up because this person or your partner has left you and went off with somebody else this is spirit telling you that just like you manifested a relationship or your money prior you can do it again because it was looking like you manifested this situation in the first place um and it looks like if it had to end it was because it showed you this person's true colors because we have the ace of swords and then look all these masks so it's like if you are manifesting something and then you're feeling in the five of cups or feeling sad like what happened why is it ending it's because you manifested this because you needed to see who this person really was. It was a good thing for you. It was because it was to release you. If you're getting betrayed, it was to release you so you can see who the person really is. And so you manifested that situation so you can get on to your next cycle, you know, without this person. Going to something deeper. New beginning, yeah. After betrayal. And <laughs> yeah, death, definitely for sure. <sighs> stay strong honey yeah y'all might see this as a setback but no again see with awareness stay strong awareness this happens to show you who this person was not because you did something wrong some of you might be thinking did i mess up a manifestation ritual is it backfiring no 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 that person came into your life and blessed you in the ways that you needed to be blessed in that time y'all will match for some at some point y'all were getting pleasure from the relationship it's just now evolving the very first card was change and evolution came up so y'all are just changing and this person is no longer you have outgrown them basically um because if they're on deceitful paths clearly they felt that they needed to hide what they really wanted from you so that means y'all are on two different paths so don't take it as necessarily stagnation it was for your awareness and what does that bring? Your ultimate success. And then look, it's faith and belief. So this is just spirit saying, if you have been betrayed, just know it was for your awareness and you're going to be successful if you keep on believing. But then also, if you are the one leaving, um, stay strong and bring it to awareness. Don't hide it because you think it will hurt someone else's feelings. Those people will end up being successful in overcoming and finding the faith and the strength to, to move on but you have to yourself live your life and you cannot live it for others whether they came from your womb or not okay scorpio so that is the message that i have for you scorpios making the tough decisions for some of you it wasn't so tough but definitely be bringing things to the light of awareness is going to be beneficial for you whether somebody else is bringing it up to you or you bring it up to them the truth is about to set you free now what did i do with rachel's oh here we go ah yes the truth shall set you a free scorpios choosing the louis vuitton never full mf well that's what i have for you and thank you whoever chose the 
never full. Let us now continue on with our beautiful, lovely Gucci Mama. Ooh, so pretty. All right, let's see if we can get you all up in frame and stuff. Okay. Now, what deck are we using? I'm going to go in with the lovely Tinsel Town Tarot. Love the little 50s like cigarette box container. So cute. All right. Thank you, Archangels, for protecting us, for helping us to understand, for helping us to heal. Please continue to do so. Thank you, Archangels. Thank you, Benevolent Spirit. All right, Spirit. What messages do we have for Scorpio luxury lovers? Choosing the Gucci Marmot. Messages for Scorpio luxury lovers. Choosing the Gucci Marmot. Messages for Scorpio luxury lovers. Choosing the Gucci Marmot. And per usual, the timestamps are below for those of you who would like to forward through the shuffling. Messages for Scorpio. Choosing the Gucci Marmot. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Luxury lover, Scorpios. Choosing the Gucci Marmot. Luxury lover, Scorpios. Luxury lover, Scorpio. All right. Okay, and just one more, one more. Ah, so satisfying. Okay. All right, Scorpios, what do we have here? Ooh. Starting with the Nine of Swords, what are we worried about here? Mm. Worry about commitment, per persistence, dedication. Yours or someone else's. Let us see. Queen of Cups. Hmm. Worried about bringing a commitment to a Queen of Cups. Worried about having to be stuck with a Queen of Cups. Worried about having to be stuck playing nice with someone. Just putting all the possibilities out there before I get the remainder of the spread out. Yeah. Worried about having to continue playing nicey nice nice with some type of queen of cups. Who is this? A new girlfriend of an ex? The son or the baby mother of the new. I'm seeing that kind of a situation. Some of y'all are worried about can I continue to play nicey nice with this person? Looks like a mother figure. So either this is your new booze ex baby's mother or something or that's what i'm seeing here actually i forgot even what the other situation was because that one is just so overpowering um let's see here we have the hanged man yeah and y'all could be pregnant with your own child and you're worried about blending families with the ex mm. <sighs> you're feeling like it's out of your control because this person has children with your current partner which yes part of it is out of your control but i don't know i feel like you all feel stressed like like you're feeling burdened to be as cordial as possible for whatever reason temperance and i'm saying you might be worried for nothing this would be a first if this is true if this is true oh my gosh it'll be wonderful you might be worried for nothing it might be that you are about to get involved 
with a former spouse or baby's mother who is actually wonderful. I, I'm seeing it. I really hope Jesus pleads. We got <laughs> we got five more cards. Now we only want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But this could be real good or it could be really bad. Either she's a very, very lovely, nice person or a drunk. We about to <laughs> we are about to see. Seven of Swords. What is up this person's sleeve? So it's like they're being very, very nice to you. Maybe that's why you even have this anxiety that is showing up. Because they're being nice to you, but you're feeling weird about it. Your spidey senses are tingling. And that is because they are hiding something judgment now what the fuck is this judgment yes are you being seen as having an illegitimate child are you could you be being seen as before their partnership was over you came in the mix you know that song sabrina carpenter all because i like the boy like oh, i didn't know y'all was an item were still together or whatnot well you could be looking like a home wrecker because you're already pregnant. And that, I mean, look. Or you're just already with this person in general. Look at this five of wands. Why are y'all feeling so on the defense, though? Like, as if. I just see that y'all are the ones worried. Like, y'all are about to face the backlash. Are you a side piece? Are you a side piece? I mean, because y'all looking pretty worried out here, Scorpios who chose this Gucci. Okay, yeah, we got a higher fun on this other person's side. Um, y'all's looking like this y'all's the side piece. Um, but let's finish this out here. Or are y'all worried that this person is going to stay with their ex-partner and not break up? Five of Cups. Let me see here. Yeah, I'm seeing where... Maybe y'all are worried because whomever y'all are in a relationship with now did actually lie to you. Maybe they, I'm saying they did lie to you. I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying you're just realizing you're lied to or who I take away resonates with Gucci Marma. I'm seeing to where the other person's spouse is innocent. They were doing their job as, I mean, they have the Hierophant and the Temperance with them. And the Three of Cups was there until we have the Seven of Swords and then a Five of Cups. And it's a hierophant that's looking over here with the five of wands and judgment. So it's looking like you are the father. <laughs> sorry. I don't mean to make light if this really happened. I'm sorry. It was just like a Maury Poe bitch. You know? <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's looking like, yes, Scorpio, if you are wondering, you are a side piece. Like you are. And. I don't know if this person is going to leave their spouse because their spouse is innocent. They shouldn't have done this to their spouse is what I'm really seeing here. Um, and this is why you're worried about going forward because you're about to have a baby. I'm seeing what. And you're like, how are you going? I would be worried too. But <laughs> like... How are you going to blend that family? There is no blending of a family. There's you being a... Because I'm not seeing them leaving. But what is this? King of Cups. Let's see what we got at the bottom of the deck, though. King of Cups. Ace of Swords. Getting that. Mm -hmm. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. This could go either way. 
this person is about to be honest. Maybe that's why you're so worried. You know this person is about to be honest. I mean, they don't have to be honest. You're about to have a baby. They're going to tell their partner. They're going to tell their partner. And they're going to walk right into the fire because walking right into the line of fire would be more peaceful than keeping the secret. That's what I'm seeing. I am seeing that eventually it, it may look like that this person, this Queen of Cups, yeah, they married for sure, leaves. Eventually leaves and then y'all can start y'all thing. They're not going to leave though. So you're going to have to deal with that. Like, and that's why judgment was like, it's like, okay, so they're not going to leave their partner, but eventually their partner's going to leave them. And then y'all going to be able to do what y'all do. So if you're fine with that, that's up to you. I'm so sorry that you got into this situation in the first place. I'm not judging on, I don't know how this happens, but this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that this, Yeah, she is going to eventually divorce this dude because, like, yeah, like, she didn't deserve this. Also, don't do anything to antagonize this person, this woman. Because what I'm seeing, I don't know if you, from what I'm seeing, this other woman is righteous. She's in the right. She didn't do anything wrong. And so the energy, the energetic fortune is with them, with her. And she's going to have all of the energetic force to take whatever she wants from this person and move on. And I mean financially. Mm hmm Yes. And you're going to have to not say a word disparaging them you're going to have to take whatever is left of this this man <laughs> which i mean i'm sure or hopefully it's gonna be great i mean you get the i'm just saying that you're not going to be feeling as satisfied as you would have hoped simply just because it's just you're going to have to deal with the circumstances of how it happened, basically. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, you, if you're, if you're just getting to the thick of this, where the other person's spouse is about to find out, your job is to not even get, I, I, it, it, if I'm, I would not get involved. That is between them to work that out. Quite frankly, she needs to be, I mean, I mean, Unless you feel like you want to kindly give her information, like when was the due dates and all these things so she can confirm like when these things were happening. I don't know. There might be that kind of sort of a thing because these type of swords right here, there's a lot of communication and to be able to move on. Like, um, but for some of you, whomever you're getting is going to be a little bit broken because they're also going to be dealing with the guilt of what they did. They are, and they're going to be a little bit under judgment and karma of it because they know that they had a family and fucked it all up unjustly. And so for you, it's like, you're going to get, you can get a beginning with this person but only after they're like damaged goods, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? It's like they're having to pick up the pieces and come to you. Not necessarily, this is just not necessarily the relationship, how you would want it to be. But this is basically like, okay, how can you move forward in the best positive way in this situation? It is a focus on you and your child if you're going to keep this child. 
and focus on y'all being healthy and moving forward and let them and how they're going to play out play out it might look like you're single for a while and in the thick of it if that's what you choose to do that's what you choose to do um if that's what you want to do then if you would if you don't mind being a single parent you can do that but then i do see eventually you moving on it could be with this person or not because you might not want to wait for them but it's basically just you kind of staying positive about your own situation because the circumstances may not necessarily be exactly what you would want but what are we gonna do we're gonna see it in the highest light that we possibly can i mean get yourself in there you know <laughs> hold on tight let me see see let me give you some of this like the work your light oracle is this what we need to do let me see let me see yes because we want <clears throat> some higher vibes all up over this you know i am so sorry if you accidentally found yourself in this situation these things do happen <clears throat> I am so sorry, especially if you really were deceived, like you didn't know this person was in something, or maybe they said that they was about to get out of it, and y'all went ahead, and then it was like, no, but no. Either way, I'm seeing the other party is innocent, so um, yeah, they're going to get the lion's share of whatever energetic fortune is on this situation that's what i'm seeing so i am reading it looks like four i don't know i'm not gonna say that i'm reading for the third party this is the third party that's showing up right here in this reading um scorpios who chose well hello <laughs> third party <laughs> Um, I'm not seeing any maliciousness in you, so that's nice. I'm not seeing any malicious, like, you tried to have this happen. Anyway, whoopsie daisies, ended up being a third party after I went in head first. So, I'm so sorry that happened. But, you know, if you got it like that, I mean, being a single parent is tough because of the financial, and also be just energetically, like, it's good to have that help, a backup um some people decide that they want to go ahead and do it so listen to your heart about that situation and by all means if this person comes in saying you know what i am because take it where it resonates it could be a situation where if they do end up coming to you after they've left all that situation doesn't necessarily mean that they didn't want you it just meant they were trying to do right by the other party so if you can find a way to see the blessing in your situation rather than look at it as oh this is a whole bunch of like messed up patchwork bullshit instead of looking at it like that just look at it as like you know what now we get the opportunity to legitimize our family let's try it that's the kind of thing i can see here like if this person comes around even if they try to make that other thing work first I don't necessarily think that I would hold that against them, you know. They shouldn't have did what they did, though. Like, what the fudge? But that's long jaw. Let us see here. You know, that's you know between y'all. I mean, the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Yes, we do know that people going to do what they going to do and be who they did supposed to be creative uh, creating heaven on earth it's happening oh yes oh yes this is the first time i really strongly feel like i'm reading for a third party like my collective would be the spouse who just got cheated on it seeming like <laughs> leap you go first the universe will catch you well come to the light maybe you all were in karmic energy and this is y'all coming to the light like you know 
I don't want to be a side piece. I want to, how can I legitimize this? Well, you're going to have to wait for that other thing to play out because they were, they're blameless, that other party. So however that plays out, you're going to have to wait your turn until this person can be freed to come toward you. The, crum uh, the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? Leap, you go first. So this is what your person is struggling with, Scorpio, who chose this Gucci Marmont. This is, well, yes, this is, oh my goodness gracious, what is this? Are you just like becoming enlightened right now? <laughs> it's like y'all are just now becoming enlightened. Like maybe before y'all were operating in unconscious patterns. This could be the thing where you have the mommy issues or the daddy issues and you didn't see the red flags of somebody clearly being in a marriage. This has happened when I was very, very, very young. Like not even 21. <laughs> Like, but thereabouts, and like, I didn't know the red flags of, oh, this is obvious signs this person's married. So this could be you guys, like with this leap, I'm seeing young energy. We have the sun here, the hanged man, like just leaping. And um, so there is a sense of innocence here. Like, I don't see any malice on, I really don't see malice on anyone's part. Even the person who was cheating I don't know what kind of karma was going on with those two. Um, I think that they're, for them, it's just time. Oh, I am literally seeing, I know what I'm seeing here. Like, you know, the situations where it's like two people are on the same energetic plane, but then one person evolves and the other person maybe stays the same. They don't evolve with them. I'm seeing, like my collective would be the, the spouse who's going to eventually leave this person and it's not like this other person had malice. They just did not evolve. They didn't do the growth. And so they're, you're going to get this person because y'all are on the same level of growth. Of It's a little bit of like naivete. Like this person wasn't ready for a commitment like this. Whoever you had this child with. Just like you weren't ready to be able to see wolf like in sheep's clothing. Like, oh, red flag, this person's probably married. But... This is going to be this person's karma going through this situation, but it's the way that they're going to redeem themselves because that other person's about to get a whole nother better beneficial. And so this is a situation about blended families, guys, because at the end of the day, this is why blended families happen because sometimes you just evolve differently and you grow at different rates and you, there's just no way y'all can stay together. It's not that anybody hates each other. It's not that anybody's spell working and trying to be malicious. It's just that no longer are you two compatible. And so that's what I'm seeing here. There's just no longer the two are compatible and that doesn't justify the cheating of this person. Um, but it could be, this is where the moral dilemmas come in. People just, it's, they struggle so hard with this. This is why these two are together. It's like to tell the truth. It's like a burden, a conflict. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, but they need to do it so they can move on to calmer waters. So if your person would have just been honest in the first place, this wouldn't have happened. And I'm seeing like, where the person who might've, the I like the, the spouse who's being cheated on who has done no wrong, they have been evolving through the situation. And so they're going to evolve. And clearly if they have children, they're going to get another partner and they will be in a higher vibrational blended situation, just like y'all are going to be in a blended situation. And I can see that you feel guilty and this is why you have this card as the very first card is because you are coming to the light of awareness of all of this and you feel a little bit of the guilt and you're like, how could I ever have a blended family with this person where she's always going to look at me as the home wrecker whore who <laughs> destroyed the family. But what I'm seeing here, just like I was saying at the beginning, you might be blessed where she's not going to do that. She might be the type of person who just recognizes me and this person. We were growing apart and we probably should have done it before it even got to this point where you might have a blessing of a former baby's mother on your hand. Seriously. I'm seeing earth angel vibes. We got the temperance and the hierophant. And then after that, just at the bottom of the deck, it says even more good things about this other person. Like it ends up coming out to this person having, <clears throat> what is it? They show up as the high priestess and the empress. So yeah, you consider yourself, if you chose this Gucci Marmont, consider yourself fortunate that like, even though you are a part of a third party situation unwittingly, it's going to be a blessing in disguise because 
the ex of this person is going to be someone who is so much more emotionally mature that they can handle this situation and make it about what it really is about what I'm seeing all over these cards here is children make it about the children and doing what's best for the children and not acting immature and I'm seeing somebody that you can look up to because there it looks like you're younger in this situation but take it where it resonates but I'm seeing someone who can help model to you what it looks like to have a conscious uncoupling where we're not about to make it nasty it's just that we've grown apart we're not right for one another and let's be cordial oh that's beautiful if you get blessed with that situation well it looks like that's what you're getting blessed with and so again your challenge though is going to be you know cleaning up your mindset about how this all happened so you don't look at it as like a, a red letter a like a stain it is it's starting out as a bit stainy it's it's, it's stain yes however it's going to be turned into a testimony the test will be turned into a testimony if you do the right thing stay honest and learn your lessons maybe you'll tell your new child what the red flags are <laughs> Um, let me see here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to forgive yourself for the things you did not see when you were just yearning for love, because that's usually what happens. We don't we ignore the red flags when we're just looking for love. Cause we have um re uh, fill up your well, ground yourself, you're highly sensitive. How can you mother yourself longing for home? So I don't know, maybe you guys had mother issues, father issues, who knows, either way, whatever it is, I'm seeing that you are a little bit codependent and you're coming out just yearning for love and so you didn't see the red flags. And then this person just could not, for whatever reason, tell their partner we're growing apart. And it looks like the other partner also was not saying it because they were just trying to do the right thing for the kids. But now this whole situation is a blessing in disguise because you need to be with, with, someone on your level it looks like it's going to be this person and the other woman's going to go off and be with somebody the level this is the best thing that could have possibly it's the best thing that could have possibly happened meaning it's a higher vibrational way to break up all i mean i know you can see out there in the collective where there's breakups all the time and it's heartache and third parties and cheating and bad things but this is one of the ones where it's a conscious uncoupling where it's just like you know what this is messy but this only happened because we should have done this a long time ago and i am so happy <laughs> this is the first time i ever had something like this where it's like it's a third party situation but everyone's going to be mature and try to do what's best and it's actually a blessing in disguise because these people just grew apart and they had the moral dilemma that happens in twin flaming things where it's like oh well we have these kids or we have this family but it's 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 time oh yay we got one where it's, it's a little messy though but it's higher vibrational we can consciously uncouple that is beautiful i will take that oh, i will take that all day long okay yes things get messy and convoluted here on earth but if we can be aware which it looks like whether you chose the Gucci Marmont or the Louis Vuitton, people are coming to the light of awareness of things. And that is beautiful. So thank you to everyone who chose the Gucci Marmont. But whether you chose the Gucci or the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please remember to like, share with someone who cares, save it to a playlist for future reference and support. And be sure to subscribe for more luxurious eye candy such as this. And until next time, have a gorgeous day. Bye.